Something that was left on the table last year was the essential skills bill. That's a huge thing for the business community as they continue to struggle to find the workforce that they need. And it really comes down to these essential skills, learning how to shake hands, showing up for an interview, dress properly, or even at all. So where do you see that bill going next session? Do you think it has a chance to pass in this next session? We are going to pass it. That's my, you know, of course, the House this year, we moved it to... Senator Wilson, I want to thank him. He reached out the other day and, and said that he'd like to, over the interim, get together and have some conversations about it. To, uh, and, and that's going to be a lot due to the credit of the chamber and to all the industries in the, in the Commonwealth, because I've not met one industry or manufacturer that hasn't said essential skills, essential skills. We've got to have a trained workforce. So you all have done such a, a good job, unfortunately, You've been put in a situation, though, but you've done such a good job of letting it be known what you need. That is, uh, I think that there's no choice that we're going to pass it, and and I think the bill will be very similar to what uh, Leader Shell had filed this time. Uh, uh, you know, it's got several mechanisms they can use to get the seal. Uh, for me, though, I think attendance has to be one of them because, again, every employer talks about people showing up, and then, uh, you know, I know some people have some concerns around the drug part because you get into legal issues. I, I, I'm glad the drug, we need to have the drug part in there because every every employer I know also talks about the drug issue. So uh, we've got to find a way to have that at least as one of those options while I've obviously staying with inside the, the legal realm. But uh, those for me are two key components that have to be a part of that.